What if I told you you don't need to know prompt engineering in the majority of cases? I know it's controversial, right? Everyone is talking about how it's one of the hottest skills right now and how mastering it will set you up for AI greatness. Prompt engineering is of course where you give AI systems instructions using normal written words. Good prompts make sure you get the most out of LLMs like ChatGPT and Claude, whereas bad ones don't. And to be clear, I don't disagree with the people saying how important it is. But I figured out a way to shortcut writing effective high-level prompts, and I'm going to share it with you for free. I'm going to share how you can create custom GPTs that I've created that take a basic prompt and make them much more effective. And you can access it using the link down below. We haven't met, I'm Deck. I've spent the past six months building an AI agency whilst working a full-time job. I've spent the past nine years working at IBM and Salesforce, but I want to spend more time scuba diving and this is the best way I can think of to do it. My goal with this channel is to keep you and your business relevant during the AI renaissance. It doesn't sit well with me that the privileged few will benefit from the AI gold rush. And this is my attempt to change it. So there's lots of different prompt engineering formats that you can use, but the good ones typically share a few common traits. They typically use markdown formatting, provide relevant examples. They usually assign a role and a task using something called chain of thought prompting, where you list out step-by-step step what you want the LLM to do. And they typically finish the prompt with an opportunity for you to provide notes or narrowing, where you effectively kind of fix or kind of make any changes to things going wrong throughout the prompt. Now, if this concept is new to you, I've created an in-depth guide to prompt engineering with the Risen framework that you can watch up here. But I also recommend you check out anything by Liam Otley on prompt engineering. There's also a criminally small and completely brilliant school community that I'm a member of called Creators Community Growth GPT link down below that you should definitely check out if you want to learn more. I'm a member but don't get any type of financial reward for recommending it but it's just a brilliant free place where you can go to help level up your GPT builds and incidentally it's where I got the inspiration and knowledge for what I'm about to show you in this build. And to be clear what I'm about to show you is incredibly valuable and will save you hours. All you need to do is put in a pretty basic prompt and the GPT that you can access using the link below will level it up significantly. Now don't get me wrong, if you want to know the best way to create effective prompts, understanding the fundamentals is definitely worth the investment of your time. But with that said, let's get on and show you this GPT in action. So to show you in action, I'm going to pretend that we've got a transcript of a, a meeting that I've had, a, a virtual meeting, and I want it to summarize the best bits of it. So what we're going to do is I start by putting improve this, uh, and then I'm going to give it a role, a task, and a little bit of context. And it's like I said, it's really isn't very much information that I'm going to give it, and it's going to figure it out and then improve it quite a lot. So for the role, I'm going to say you are an effective uh, meeting summary system. Your task, analyze the trans, the attached transcript and summarize all of the key points that Salesforce need to do as a result of the call context. This is between the Salesforce account team and the BBC account team. The BBC are a client of Salesforce. And that's all they've got, right? So we've given it here and I'm gonna press once with all of that, and then I'm going to ask it to improve it. And as you can see, what it's done now is it's kind of really fleshed this out. I really like that. So then all you do is you copy that in there, open up a new prompt, put it in. The, it's in markdown formatting. You can see that by these hashes here, which we absolutely love. And that's great for prompts. And that's it. So then all we need to do is attach a transcript, press go, and away it goes, and you've got a brilliant prompt. You want to learn how to create virtual voice AI assistants in a few relatively simple steps and I highly recommend you watch my ultimate beginner's guide to voice AI here. Thanks, and I'll see you there. Peace.